personality puzzle. What can you do to improve your friendships using personality differences? Have you ever had a relationship go sour and not known why? Chances are it was a personality clash. You were just different from the other person and began to see them in a negative light. When this happens, you need to type flex and reframe them. In personality type practice, there are the concepts of reframing and type flexing. Reframing means to see someone in their complementary strength rather than the absence of your strength, and to type flex means to respond to that person in their preferred manner. In the end, you want to promote the constructive use of differences. Here's an example of the need for reframing. She's a perceiver and he's a judger. So she's most comfortable when her options are open and he's most comfortable when everything's planned. This leads to a problem. She thinks he's being inflexible when he doesn't want to make any changes to their plans. And he thinks she's being disorganized when she's always making changes to their plans. How can type theory help them understand each other better? Let's take a look at the problem in terms of how they see the world and what filters they use. Here's an example using a perceiving filter. Remember that her perceiving strength is flexibility. So she views the world through a flexible filter. His judging strength is organization. And being an organized type of guy, he would likely say something like this. We've already agreed to these plans, so let's not change them. So what happens when his organizing statement hits her flexible filter? It gets blocked. She's not hearing a flexible approach like, we need to adjust our plans as circumstances change. She doesn't hear that at all. All she hears is a negative of her strength, inflexible. All he hears is a negative of his strength, disorganized. Let's look at an example of how to refrain. He is usually more organized than she is. However, for him to characterize her as being disorganized is very negative and doesn't take into consideration her complementary strength of flexibility. She is usually more flexible than he is. However, for her to characterize him as being inflexible is also very negative and loses sight of his complementary strength of organization. Rather than disorganized, he can reframe her to be adaptable and effective at last-minute adjustments. Rather than inflexible, she can reframe him to be organized and prepared. Now they can start to see each other in a more positive and accurate light, so the relationship will get back on track for being a healthy one. This is what reframing looks like. Let's look at a type flex example. He can type flex to her by being clear on what he is expecting. This helps her understand how he feels about things. As an organized person, he just assumes that she will want to be organized as well. Not a good idea when your friend is a perceiving type. She can type flex to him by asking about expectations and discussing any changes before making them. As a flexible person, she just assumes that he wants to be flexible as well. Again, not a good idea when your friend is a judging type. If he type flexes to her by being clear on his expectations and she type flexes to him by discussing changes before making them, they'll communicate better and their relationship can blossom. Of course, you can reframe any of the type factors, so this is just one example. This app will show you how to reframe your friends in type flex to their strengths. Reframing and type flexing. Try it out because it's the key to getting along.